Hi everybody, Keith Tanner here from Fly Miata and I'm here to talk to you about an upcoming event that we're hosting in a couple of weeks, the Fly Miata Summer Camp. Uh, the Summer Camp is an event we've been having for a long time, but this is the first year we've done it virtually so that all of you out there in internet land can take part without having to come here in Colorado land. So I'll give you a little bit of background so those of you who have not been around for forever know what I'm talking about. The Fly Miata Summer Camp started off as a barbecue out back of our shop in 1998 or so. Bill Cardell was flipping burgers, invited a few local customers to come in, and basically it was a customer thank you event. And we did it again the next year, and the next year, and it snowballed and grew, and now um, in 2019 it was a five-day event. We've had track time, we've had, uh, we've had autocrosses, we've had uh, track days, many, many track days at driving schools, we've had tours all over Colorado. There's been all sorts of things that have happened, but basically it's an open house that's grown into all sorts of stuff. And we've had one every year since 1998, except for 2020. As you can imagine, uh, the pandemic meant we couldn't have our, uh, our big event um, last year, so we couldn't invite 100 Miata owners to come in and join us in our shop and thank them personally. For 2021, we're going to try doing this virtually, um, partly because not everyone can travel yet, and partly because you know, this last year has given us a lot of experience with how to do things online that we used to do in person. I mean, everyone's, everyone's experienced this. So this is our chance to take the summer camp experience and let everyone take part. You know, whether you're overseas, whether you simply can't make the drive down to Colorado, whether you've got kids in school or whatever your reason, um, this year we're doing it virtually. So this is a pretty exciting. It's first time for us, um, first time for you guys, and uh, we're looking forward to how it's going to work. The important thing is the date, and that's going to be June 12th. Get that? Write that down, June 12th. Uh, we'll make a lot of noise about it. We're going to send out our newsletter announcing all of the very specific things on Tuesday, uh, June 1st. Um, and we will also we'll have the full schedule listed at that point. Uh, but effectively, it's going to start at around 9 o'clock in the morning, mountain time, uh, on the 12th. And it will go to about, I think it's 4.30 is where we have it closing right now. Um, again, mountain time. So Pacific, Eastern, Central, Newfoundland, whatever. You guys can do the math. We're on mountain. Um, so what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? The, the big draw for the summer camp in the past was always it was a chance for customers to come in and check out our shop, see some of the cars, go for rising cars, take part in some of the technical seminars that we have with new products or product deep dives or R&D updates, um, chance to look around this place, you know, 25,000 square feet of Miata playground, um, and a chance to go explore our roads around our shop because we live in a beautiful part of the country with amazing roads. So we're going to do our best to replicate that experience with the with the Facebook uh, or sorry with the with the virtual summer camp. Um, we're doing videos to give you an experience of what it's like to ride in some of these cars. We just got back from shooting some of that today. Um, a bunch of different cars, everything from almost stock to very much not stock. Um, we're going to do some drives on our local roads so you can get a feel for what they're like. You know, pretend you're in the passenger seat and we'll take you up Highway 141 or over the monument. You get a feel for just what it was, is like when you do come out and visit us. And we're going to have technical seminars, of course. We're going to have Q and, um, sorry, we're going to have new product introductions. We're going to have some deep dives into products. Uh, we're going to have you know, upgrade suggestions, that kind of thing. The sort of thing that we talk about to people when they're here at our summer camp. Um, we're also going to have some of our customer, our, our employees' cars lined up so we can do a quick tour of that because we have employees that drive a lot of interesting cars. I mean, there's some cool Miatas. Uh, everything from a very, very early number 338 off the line to a 2021 parked in the parking lot right now. Um, but our employees also have other interesting cars, such as Vanigans with Subaru engines in them. Um, they have Subarus with Subaru engines in them. Um, there's ex-cop cars. There's giant Cadillacs. There's all sorts of cool stuff. So we'll give you a chance to get a chance to see that and participate. There'll be Facebook Live videos like this one, so you can talk back and forth. You can see what's going on. We're also going to have a virtual car show, and this one's going to be kind of fun. That will open up on Tuesday, on the 1st of June, um, and run until the Saturday, uh, until about noon on the Saturday, so we can have prizes. Um, get some good pictures of your car. We'll open that up to anybody. There's no, you, you just register, put your pictures up there, and then it's people's choice from then on. Um, you get to vote on which one do you think is the winner of each category. We'll have a separate category for each generation of car, N-A-N-B-N-C-N-D, and we'll have those split into two categories, 
we'll say mild and wild is what we're going to call it. Basically, stock to lightly modified and very much not stock. Um, so you can class your own car as you see put, and then we'll let everyone, all the visitors to the car show, vote for their favorite, and then we will have prizes for, I think it's the top three in each, uh, in each class. So please take part in that. We're looking forward to it. The car show is a relatively new addition to the real-life uh, summer camp, but it's actually proven to be very, very popular. Uh, Travis, did we have, what questions did we have? Oh, one of the questions we had was, can we come to your parking lot and watch the videos uh, on our phones in your parking lot? And you know what? <laughs> uh, that would crack me up. I would love to see that happen. There's no need. If you, you, you can watch it in your, in your, if you want to sit in your Miata, you can do it in your own garage if you want to. But if you want to come sit in our parking lot, um, I can't stop you. It'll be kind of fun. Bit of a drive. But hey, there you go. Uh, do we have any questions there, Travis? No questions yet? Okay, it's fairly short and sweet. Um, we're hoping we get a lot of people taking part in this because it's an experiment for us. If this works out well, the summer camp may stay virtual. Um, it allows us to, it's actually easier for us to do in terms of continue our regular business without trying to shut down to, do, to host 100 Miata owners for a week, but it also lets us spread it far and wide, far beyond what, uh, what we normally can reach. I mean, typically we've had 100 to 200, um, 100 cars, 200 owners, they always seem to be a two-to-one ratio, go figure, um, show up at this thing, which is great for those 100 cars, those 200 people, but you know, there's, we know there's hundreds of people who can't take part, so this is our chance to make that happen. So, um, watch our Facebook page for, uh, for an update on that one. We'll, we'll, it's going to be hosted around Facebook because this is something that Facebook is good at. Um, so watch our Facebook page for information on this. Uh, we will also be sending out a newsletter uh, on our email list on Tuesday. Um, one of the questions we had was the banner image we used for this, that, that cool old style, what was that the CCA style um, National Parks graphic with the, uh, with the Miata on it and Fly Miata Summer Camp. That is the t-shirt design. We're going to be selling the t-shirt as part of the event. Uh, it's going to come with a little sticker too so you can pretend that you visited all the National Parks plus the Fly Miata Summer Camp. Um, so, Anthony, yes, you can get that on a t-shirt. <laughs> a great design done by Travis here. Um, he, he gets a chance to stretch his artistic chops once in a while. So um, that will be one of, the, one of the physical perks you can bring home from that. Uh, we have a question. Uh, yeah, is summer camp ever going to be in person again? The question is, is summer camp ever going to be in person again? And the answer is we don't know. Um, it depends on how this goes. If we find this is very, very popular and has very, very high uptake. Um, it may end up being virtual. We're always going to welcome people to come visit us here at the shop. Uh, if we find that you know, we just can't really capture the, uh, the excitement of summer camp by doing it virtually, then we will probably move on. But we'll see how it goes. That's, uh, yeah, we can't answer that question yet. Do we have another question back there? Kyle. The question is, can anyone rent a Fly Miata car for the day? And unfortunately, uh, no, not even virtually. Uh, <laughs> um, we depend on our, on our cars for our business. They are, they are cars that we use to do the things. Some of these are customer cars. But um, yeah, unfortunately, the Fly Miata cars are uh, property of Fly Miata for use by Fly Miata. But we will take you for a ride if you ask nicely. So if you have any more questions, please throw them in the comments. Uh, we will answer them in the comments. Um, and we hope to see as many as possible taking part in the seminars, asking questions, watching the videos on the drives, uh, and especially taking part in the car show because we want to see all the cool Miatas out there. So this is our chance to, to see what you've got, what you're driving around on, and to share it with the world. So there we go. Fly Miata Summer Camp going virtual for 2021, June 12th, and we hope to see you there. Thank you very much.